Sugar. Oh, oh. lorded over by Juan oh. Quattro, oh. who's on for a double. These openers are clean. Bro, I don't know. What can you even do against Lose. this? Like, <laughs> Look at him! Oh, oh what Quattro! Get him! Yeah, it's up oh. for the ace. He's not going to get Twice. him. Twice. Waterfalls will get rid of him. But still. If you guys want to open up free cases, make sure to use the codes in the description on pandaskins.com. Every video will have two new limited codes, so make sure to use them ASAP before everyone else. Also, make sure to use code Scenery at referral when you deposit for a free bonus as well. You can open insane cases for nice profit like I did here with this Legend of Anubis AK and withdrawing your prizes is quick and easy. I withdrew to Steam and PayPal and you can too. So go grab your free cases and bonus right now. Good luck have fun my friends. Hope you enjoy. And the Molotovs are all over the place. They're going to push him off the back of it as well. Hard committing for the kill. Synopsy throws away top banana control. Still two CTs here. This HE could be massive, but it might have gone in a little bit too early. Deep off the back of it over Senery, and he slaughters three of them. Senery the scalpel makes an incision on Banana, and he wants to close it down. That's the ace. Up for maybe something a bit quick out top here once this yard presence has been taken from Cello. The jewel is up close and personal. Turtle creeping, crawling over towards ramp and having a bit of a looky loo. Now, now, GXX will fall off. Maybe get a bait for Rigon. They may assume it's clear. He's going to have an opportunity here. There's four backs a turn and immediately dispatches oh. of the bomb. Gary Rigon popping off round one. Deletes oh made in Brazil what? and there's still one left. The round is not done. Cello. That's mm. that A1S out of the equation. GXX as well with the AWP off of short. Has to vacate rather swiftly, but he's still hanging around and actually wants to challenge this. He's going for it one on one now as he pulls far more than you would have expected out of this equation. Still has to get on the defuse and doesn't have a kit. Try to go. Oh my god! Big shot! No! That cannot be! It's going to be a waterfall through anyway. Call's been made with the smokes and flashes spotted out by Regon. One flash who knows what's coming his way. But can he deal with it? Bubble with a quick cross and a quicker shot. Regon finally to reveal. He'd gone by, but only one kill found for all his sneakiness. And GXX again has to save the day. How many oh. times will he do it? The shot through the wall. A flick up above. Finally misses one. But he keeps on going. GXX oh. will never stop. No one has breath in his lungs. Sydney down to 52 already. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but considering how the game's going, that was little bits of damage. You're just so uninspiring, and Rigon reads the boost. Matty's head's gone. The op, I don't think even really given the time to be recovered. Instead, Prism is hoping for the trade around the edge of the smoke, and Rigon is just going to keep causing havoc on B. A one tap on by Ali as well. Instantly swapped to the knife. He was fully confident that that was going to land. And Ned should maybe even finish Sydney. No, not quite. He gets out of Boiler in time, but. They know at least one of these players is over toward there. I was going to say they could run the bomb to B, but it looks like instead they're just going to wrap in and get those kills for themselves. And it's Rigon looking for the ace. There it is. <laughs> if you can keep them on a string and pull them away, oh, that's too easy. Norway, they had no idea he was coming. GXX needs to turn it out. Bomb planted for him. But a smoke, not available. It's a flash instead. Incendiary, but that's not going to do it. It's already needs to hit the shot. Does hit it, but it's through the box. He stays alive. Round over. It's going to be B&E with their first. 6-2, to two, back into the action. Tech Paws had a tactical timeout taken from Bad News Eagles right out of that. Probably the coach saying, calm down, don't worry about it. Juan Flatro is going to continue his tear. A double kill. Second one through smoke, cleaning up the dink. Oh, and he's going to add a third. That is so phenomenal. Yeah, that is a shutdown. Workshop it. Into the game, though. The Eagles coming out. Synopsy, he's a cut. He's fragging. Shot's dead. Another man dead. Dooley's killing everyone. They're all dying. And there he's rushing forward. He wants the fourth, and he is able to find it. Four headshots for him with the duelies. 4C gets the flank off. Can he find another one? He can't. GX is the one to get the last frag. Find a way to survive by time. Doesn't matter. He's just giving GXX more. That pulls one away from the take that that donut, though. But one Flancho's not sold by it. He knows what's happening. He just shuts them down. 15-3. Pack it up, pack it in. M4 aggressing and synopsy, surreal, dry face in, Milky's orb also dealt with, that's a triple and a quadra lined up by the man once again. One player makes all the difference for Bad News Eagles, endpoint capitulating acts and synopsy turns on for the end. Fallen with that flash, bang, already pressure applied, reveals himself, oh, no. he's making a mess of it, Fallen's alive and kicking, gets the frag, it's only Rigon trying to save the Eagles. And he's doing everything he can, he does save them, Rigon resuscitates the Eagles. Sparrow have always been caught up by a flank. They're always double-guessing themselves. And that's credit to the B&E playing these mind games.
Really well played from them as well. Back to nothing. Back to a low buy. Double spray down from one flat choke. Can he make it three? Yes, he can. He's making it expensive. Oh. On for the ace. And of course he is. One flat throw. Don't test him towards outside because he will punish. He's his way towards A scenario. No one versus three. We'll spot the first. Take him down as well. 28 seconds left. Picks up another M4 just for the ammunition's sake. Buzz. Oh my word. Got to be careful. His backside nearly sticking out and could have cost him his life. Instead, now Sineri approaches with caution, but he'll have himself a second kill. TMB. No way. No, Sineri. Does he know about the last? Oh, he does now. He absolutely does. Miss shot from TMB. And Sineri will clutch in the disrespect on top. He knows the, the proportion of the round win. A one versus three. He never stood a chance in the first place. Set on the first contact, tapping forward, shock will tap up one. Flattery trades it, but Zedko's tapping heads himself. Kill to his name. Tease or cross flank in from mid as well. Going to be accounted for. Synopsy will fall. GXX extends with the raid boss. Now to get back to the site, but the bombs also push forward for center. He goes back for the USP and smartly goes for the plant. The same. The P250 fighting on hard. Players making their move in. They've got info on all three, but they haven't got the kills to them. Center with one shot. Now sees the next two players. Forced to reload to a one on one. Forzy make his way around. Generator. Oh, what a flick that is. Senna with the all important pistol for BNE. I think from the perspective of Searson, the way that he swung on the very last moment really rattled him. Ooh, down he goes. Finds another Searson out early, and this could be a lead for BNE. Despite Searson putting up 22 kills at the moment, yeah. this time he just kind of gets caught between that double peak. Regon oof, drops the incendiary. Sin looking for his kill towards mid. Easy oh. pickups. He just continues to fight, and now you can see it, that bolstered aggression. The snowball effect, very real. The emotions, the adrenaline. And as he embraces their death, inspired to win this, he finds Rez, attention turned deep down on the ramp. Oh Molotov destined. With the nade. Brolin falls back, tons of damage done. Smoke atop the bomb. He He's going to try and stick this, comes off as they come through. And as desperation sinks in, he gets at least another. Now again on top of the defuse, second and a half, he finds it! No. Synopsis the heartbreaker! No and BNE the backbreakers! Nip can't do a thing! He's a chemist. There's still a rifle that they haven't found yet. Even fight. Oh, but the Molly finds Sineri. GXX into the one versus two. Plopsky's oh, oh, right through smoke. And Rez is going to try his hand at the exact same deep fuse. Desperation, final second. Oh. Stab him in the spine. <laughs> Bad news, Eagles. With a quick reality check. No stick this time. Survive now. Three back to back for them. And here comes the fast play in towards the B bomb side. Sineri will find one, but he will immediately fall. Oh, there's so many players here, so many bodies, and they're not checking while Flatro, who once again is just hiding. We saw it in the pistol with the USP, and now we see it with the A4. A Nikodos. A crazy shot. No kills to come in. Massive gap in the CT smoke, though. Don't know what we're playing at here, b &E. And of course, we're just going to have kills galore through it. Sineri, good for one. Picks up the AK. Two versus four. Rickon's actually got a bit of a flank out middle here, and he should have some timing onto Valencio, but he fires off a shot. And he can't connect the dots. So now it is just Sineri against four. Yeah, no reason for them to pick him as well. They can just hold. He's been spotted. Detour is actually going to peek into him, giving him a chance. That's a bit of a risk. The enemy's oh. fallen as well. Bomb has been recovered. He spotted another. Oh! Yes. No way. The one versus five. Sineri. You must be kidding. He's going to go for the wrap towards the A-bomb side. Valencio, he's afraid to move right now. He has so much respect for him. Sineri's going to be able to get the bomb down. A one versus five, four kills under his belt right now. Sineri, surely not like that. Surely you don't close it out like that. His best map so far in the series, 28 and 21 in the 29th. Could be it. It could be enough. He's heard him. He knows exactly where yes. the is coming from. The shift is not going to change anything. The position is everything. The final boss, it's Valencio against Sineri for the ace, for BNE, for one and no zero Sineri! Round. And again here, it looks to be an A play. Rigon gets one and then falls. Juan Flatro playing behind the hay bales. Will he have a haymaker to knock out the tees? He will. Lands the right hook on Zedko. Three versus three. Win this round and win the ticket to the major. No. Big spam, but Juan Let's Flatro it. closes it down. Whoa. It's all Wait. on the major. <laughs> And 
drive. Flyroom might get forced out to the open. Scenari at least gets seen and body so aggressive behind the smoke. Sprays through, Jocko getting his kill. Afro following suit through said smoke. GXX to swing, get a flick. That's one. Trade back for a two for one overall. Dive back into the pit control, expecting body to swing as well. Catching him at the edge of the spoke. But Afro gets Rigon, can start the Raptor Nopsy there with the SMG. Keeps it in at evens, dishing out some damage to Lucky as well as GXX reaggresses. Two players caught at brackets, but the bomb has been evaded. Runs into exercise, spots him, but both players with their backs turned. Lucky gets caught. Exercise challenges, and GXX gets the most important. You really have to strike a nice balance here. You don't want to be full turtle mode and give them all that space for free, but you also don't want to be taking anything too avant-garde and leaving rifles on the floor for those armored pistols. I say armored pistols, just the fur with the vest. The rest just doing their best with nothing. And Teneri farming himself up a nice three-piece bargain. Bucket and ace in total. So once again, another critical round for Bad News Eagles. They're all critical for Bad News Eagles at this point. Big time. Shot in, Rigon, Zordi down. Good follow-up, Synopsy takes out Kenzie. He's got the position to swing again, but Jerry's got them beat on that as he sprays into the edge of the box. They didn't expect Rigon to go, and that's bomb down, flash in to allow it. And they've got positional control. Rigon even spots Jerry with a hand in front of his face. That's his cue, he can re-peek safely. Oh, good hold up. Nice shot on Joe. What a disgusting round for Rigon. It should have two B players, but one Fletcher instead. That's a lot of chip damage, even more so. Oh, baby, a triple as he sprays uh -huh. them through. Those were the rifle players as well. Rouse can't even pick one up. Up as he's being spammed on down. Slacks us get a headshot with a scout, but Juan Fletcher will find even more. Oh, he's on for the ace, and oh, Juan Fletcher, he's actually gonna do it. The A long defender decimates this round side, and that was a force by GXX for the round if they retake banana. Long smoke. Let's see if some feathers get ruffled here as Synopsy loses info. Flatro rounds on his shoulders right now. Synopsy spam, Scout does die, and this is all to set Rigon up. Oh, they're not going to spam. Oh, this could be everything. Oh, double! Oh, 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 oh Rigon! Oh. With the deagle, the try and close. Oh, oh, my God! What a round! Two players to stand by. Rigon sees nothing. Senna hears everything. Synopsy out towards Cross, and Jerry overwhelmed. Synopsy gets two, three on the spray. Tech nine pulled out for the Quadra, and it's Jerry alone looking for that rifle, looking for the bomb, running right into the CT's clutches. Taps it once, needs to pull out that gun. Here they come, wrapping the corner, and it's Rigon delivering the final blow. Forza, I've got some bad news for you. The Eagles have landed into the semi-final. Ruin the whole round for BNE, but he doesn't know how far forward he is. Oh, the perfect headshot. Hearing footsteps of another CT oh. player as well. He's waiting for Tom Case and Beastick. Oh, my lord. Oh, there's so much he can gain. Third player at the corner. Oh, GXX. What a play that is. Oh, my goodness. You wouldn't have expected it. See if he can find any contact towards A. He's just going to have to be the man to take the step up here. The other teammates of his have got utility. This is a great bait and switch for Synopsy. On for the ace. Synopsy, not for the first time in the back box. Wasn't able to get too much done at the pistol, but is this his moment to shine? They picked up the pace, but the damage as he goes up and down. Regon's there to help him out, and this flashes up and over. The smoke is good. It will afford safe passage for Synopsy, and they're watching the rotation as well. So Zatares, there's one, can't double up with a second, and that could have been the round falling as a result. 12 HP left on Zenari. Needs to try and come out of the flames, try and come out of the fire and pull off something special. But maybe Synopsy has this all alone and he bags himself a 14th frag and another round for his... The one that gives Synopsy this workaround from Ramp. But all importantly, you can sit in on Crane and find the kills as well as the snap back from Synopsy. will find a second and that is two of the three AKs invested by Finest to give them that push and obviously the chance of exposure and tier one chances. Rigon going to try and strip it away from them though with shocks. He's the first man to fall and an unresponseless finest here. 4v5. Twist going aggressive. Gives up the bomb. Rigon looking for more as the USP just finds heads. But Arquez will find the response but it's a 2v4 and the 4v5 statistic you were talking about on the T side at least not looking too good for finest in this one. They've been absolutely demolished by the headhunter of Rigon. Even Kreas and Twist, they've got to peek together there. They offer it up individual jewels. You've got to fight, offer up the territory. Even Rigo's looking for a little bit more. Is he going to get the ace? He might even do so. On for it, at least. 
Down to one, down to Blesson to deny it all. Molly will whiz past Rigon's hand and he's on for it. Yes, indeed, Rigon. What a round.